Have you ever felt the universe tighten around a single moment? A slip, a sudden stop, a flash of danger. You should have died, but you didn't. And the question that lingers is simple. Why are you still here? Quantum physics tells us that reality does not collapse into one outcome. It branches infinitely. Every near-death moment, every random event splits existence into countless timelines. In most of them, you do not survive, but your awareness, the observer inside your mind, can only continue in the branches where you remain alive, which means from your perspective, you never reach the timeline where your story ends. Every second of your life creates another version of reality. Not metaphorically, literally. Quantum physics shows that the universe does not choose one future. It grows into all of them. Think of a moment where everything could have changed. A turning car, a falling object, a heartbeat out of rhythm. In one timeline you were hit, in another you slipped away, in another you did not stand here at all. But your awareness, your conscious experience, can only continue along one of these paths, the surviving one. This is the split, the point where probability branches and your perception follows the path where life continues, which leads to the unsettling truth you may already be living in the version of reality where you survived something you were never meant to survive. There are events in your life that felt too close, too sharp, too impossible. Moments where you should not have walked away, but you did. Quantum theory suggests something strange here. You do not remember the branches where you died. You only remember the branch where your awareness continued. This means your memory, your story, your entire life is built on a single requirement, that you survived. Think about that. Out of countless possible realities, you only retain the one where your consciousness still exists. This creates an illusion, a powerful one. It feels like you always make it through. It feels like you always escape. It feels like you always survive. But that is not the whole picture. In countless other timelines, you didn't. And the only reason you don't remember them is because you're not there to remember. Every near-death moment creates a fracture in reality, a split, a divergence, a fork in the multiverse. And your consciousness, without you even noticing, chooses the branch where you continue. Think of the last accident you almost didn't avoid, the last second that felt stretched, the sound that faded, the world that slowed. In that fragile instant, the universe shattered into possibilities, countless versions of what could have happened. In most of them, your story ended. But in one of them, the smallest one, the rarest one, you lived. And that is the path your awareness now follows, the branch you slipped into. You feel the aftermath, a strange heaviness, a ripple in memory, a sense that something subtle changed, because it did. You're walking the version of reality that wasn't supposed to happen but did, because it's the only version you were alive to witness. Every timeline creates a different version of you, a version that stepped too far, a version that reacted too late, a version that never stood up again. But you, the awareness reading these words, are not any of those versions. Quantum theory says each moment branches into countless outcomes. Most of those outcomes end with your story cut short. But the branch where you survive, the one narrow path, the improbable corridor of life, is the only one your consciousness can continue through. This means the you that stands here now is the survivor of billions of collapsing paths. The you that is gone in those timelines cannot observe anything, cannot continue, cannot remember. You only exist in the version where existence continues. This creates a strange illusion that survival is natural, that life always pulls you back. But what it truly means is that your awareness rides the only branch where it's still alive, and every step you take may be balanced on the ashes of versions of you 
that never made it this far. Some people describe a strange feeling after a moment they should not have survived. A soft distortion, a sense of distance, a subtle echo in the mind. Reality looks familiar yet slightly misaligned. Quantum theory suggests that this sensation may not be psychological, but physical. When your awareness slips into a surviving branch, the world around you is technically not the same world you were in before. Everything is almost identical. Memories match. People match. Events match. But tiny details, the unnoticed patterns, the small coincidences, do not line up perfectly. You feel it as a shift, a subtle mismatch, a small crack in continuity. Because your consciousness just locked into a timeline that was statistically impossible, but necessary for your survival. You were meant to die, but something pulled you somewhere else. If your awareness always follows the branch where you live, then eventually you walk a path where fewer and fewer things follow you. People drift away. Events no longer align. The world feels slightly detached. Not because life has changed, but because your branch has. In the multiverse, not everyone survives with you. Their timelines split differently. Their endings occur elsewhere. You continue forward, slipping into branches where your awareness persists, while others fade into versions of reality you can no longer access. This can create a quiet loneliness, a sense that something or someone is missing, a subtle emptiness that grows over time without explanation. Because the more unlikely your survival becomes, the fewer timelines remain where others still walk beside you. Immortality can feel like isolation long before you notice. Sometimes you feel a pull, a quiet echo from a life you never lived, a strange familiarity, a memory that doesn't belong, a moment that feels borrowed, as if something followed you from another version of reality. Quantum theory suggests that every branch of existence carries a unique pattern, a signature of probability. When your consciousness shifts into a surviving path, that signature changes. Most of the world looks identical, but the fine details, the emotional textures, the subtle coincidences are slightly different. Your mind detects this, not as a memory, but as a feeling a faint echo of the reality you left behind. The deja vu, the sudden intuition, the unexplained comfort or discomfort. These are not random. They are the shadow of other yous, the ones that didn't make it, the ones that diverged. And those echoes follow you because every survival leaves a trace. Every version of you that didn't survive doesn't simply disappear. It becomes probability, a fading possibility, a path that closed behind you, but its shadow still exists. Quantum theory says every branch carries information, even the ones that end, even the ones where your story stopped. This information, this collapse of potential, creates a subtle weight in surviving timelines. You don't remember those versions. You can't because you were not conscious there. But something within you recognizes the cost. It appears as a quiet heaviness, a brief sadness, a moment where you feel older than you should. It's the echo of endings you never witnessed, but were still connected to. You survived, but infinite versions of you did not and somehow your consciousness carries the weight of all those paths that closed so you could continue. There is a flaw in human perception, a blind corner in consciousness. You can witness life, but you can never witness the moment it ends. 
because the observer cannot stand inside its own absence. Quantum mechanics reveals a strange rule. Awareness only exists in a timeline where awareness survives. That means your entire experience, your memory, your sense of continuity, is filtered by a single condition. You can only observe realities where you remain conscious. You cannot perceive the branches where you vanish. The collapse is invisible from the inside. So the story you tell yourself, the path you believe you're walking, is only one narrow thread woven through a forest of endings you never felt. This is the observer's blind spot, the truth you can never experience and yet can never escape. Every timeline has a boundary, a final horizon, a point where probability becomes too thin to hold. And yet, your awareness keeps finding the narrow path, threading through impossible outcomes. Think of your life as a maze of collapsing hallways. Most of them end abruptly, most of them never reach tomorrow. But one passage, one improbable route, always remains open. Your consciousness follows that opening, not because it chooses, but because it cannot exist anywhere else. This creates a strange momentum, a quiet drift, pushing you toward the last surviving corridor of every moment. You are not surviving by strength. You are surviving by elimination. If your awareness can only continue in worlds where you survive, then what does death even mean? Maybe death is real in countless timelines, in countless versions of you. But you, the observer, standing here, never meet those endings. You only move forward, carried by the branch that still holds you. This is the quiet secret of quantum immortality. You do not escape death. You simply never witness it. And that leaves us standing at a single point, a doorway between every version of existence, facing the only question your consciousness can never answer. If you can never experience not existing, then what is the final moment really? Is death an ending or just a path you never walk? And if your awareness always flows into the branch where it continues, then maybe the universe has already decided that your story is far from over.